The contrast of natural beauty and urbanization nest side by side all throughout Orange County. But the effects of greenhouse gas emissions and consequently global warming is likely to take its toll in the not so distant future. Even here in Orange County, California, we are experiencing the detrimental consequences that have resulted from careless behaviors of the past and present. Greenhouse gases, such as CO2 and methane, are increasing at alarming rates due to industrialization and overdevelopment of cattle. The greenhouse gas cycle is speeding up as the average temperature increases. If left unchecked, this cycle will destroy plant and animal life and eventually us. Highly urbanized areas like Orange County easily become big contributors to the greenhouse gas problem because of our over-dependence on fossil fuels to continue our comfortable way of life. But there are things being done in Orange County. Mass transit systems such as buses and trains take many vehicles off the road while still getting people where they need to go. Check out this green travel option when taking long trips. During the summer months, when the temperatures are high, gas stations in Orange County and the rest of California switch to ethanol-based fuels, which are cleaner burning to decrease our impact on the environment. If you must drive though, why not explore the hybrid option? Hybrid vehicles with their increased gas mileage emit less CO2 than traditional combustion engine cars. Small economy cars are another option for getting more miles to the gallon while costing you less green. Anaheim is sponsoring a tree power program that provides up to six shade trees to interested home or business owners. When planted in a strategic fashion around the home or business, the shade trees can reduce heat from direct sunlight. By decreasing the cooling needs of the home or business, participants can lower their energy consumption. Another benefit of planting trees is they absorb and convert CO2 to oxygen in the air we breathe. Yowza! That reminds me, there's also a way that students can get involved. Chegg.com is a textbook rental site that plants a tree for every textbook rented. And by renting more books, we can reduce the demand of paper and save more trees. For more information, visit www.cheggg.com. It is impossible to deny our need for electricity in this modern age, but burning fossil fuels is neither sustainable nor environmentally friendly. Solar panels make use of the abundant radiation from the sun to produce usable energy. Although the initial investment can be high at first, over time, these solar panels pay for themselves in cost savings. Electric companies may even pay you for the excess electricity backfed into their power grids. Buying Energy Star appliances is a great way to reduce energy consumption without reducing function. Household appliances that are plugged in siphon energy even when not in use. Unplugging appliances is an easy way to conserve energy. You can cut down on your energy usage on lighting by switching out your old incandescent bulbs for compact fluorescent bulbs. Although CFLs cost more than traditional bulbs, they last up to 10 times longer and the energy savings alone will pay for the bulb many times over during its lifetime. 
Also, make sure you turn up the light before you leave the room. My family sets the thermostat to 78 degrees, which causes the AC to turn on only when it's really needed. Also, many power companies offer reduced rates for consumers that are willing to limit energy use during peak seasons. It is a great idea to have double-paned windows installed to keep the cooler in and the heat from the sun out. I also have a window shade outside of my window to block direct sunlight. In addition, I have added insulation to the exterior walls, which helps maintain the temperature of the house. During the hot summer months, when it's cool enough outside, we open the windows and doors and use a fan to blow cool air into the house to avoid using the AC whenever possible. Avoid driving during peak traffic hours to increase your miles per gallon. Idling and the stop and go nature of traffic drastically reduces fuel efficiency. helps keep your miles per gallon at its highest potential. Even small choices, like using DVD via mail programs such as Blockbuster Total Access or Netflix, can save on fuel by reducing trips to the movie store. Yeah. Another energy conscious decision is choosing not to purchase commercial coffee products. These items are often shipped long distances, increasing their carbon footprint. Purchasing food from local farmers markets not only supports local industry, but also decreases demands for food shipped from afar. Global warming is a scary reality to face, but we still have the power to change the outcome of this universal dilemma, even here in Orange County. It's all about making conscious choices on a daily basis, like the ones we've just discussed. With all this beauty around us, it would be a shame not to share it with future generations. What will you do to reduce your greenhouse gases?